Welcome back, YouTube. You know what time it is, that's right. It's time for the final match between Mitch Flower Power and Macobra 52 for the rando finals. I know you guys haven't you guys haven't been liking it because I kind of left you on a little cliffhanger there, but you know what? I think that's pretty awesome. So let me go ahead and just get um Just go ahead and get the little uh, SMB3 soundtrack going on in the background. So we at least have some to listen to. But are you guys as excited as I am? I mean, I already know what happens because I was in it. But I know a bunch of you don't know what happened. Remember, don't read chat or don't read the, the comments because you're going to get spoiled. So one of the best parts about doing this is we can fast forward. So let's just go ahead and get started right now. Fight! Now! Oh! All right. Uh, I love Ford Key. All right, so we start in World 7. And as you know, me, I always go for the random other pipe. Ooh, it screwed me over there. Okay, so now I work my way back. So I am unfortunately stuck. All right, so I check the same pipe as him. And it sucks that the first fortress, guys. Go, guys, make sure you get your... Make sure you get your sodi pops. All right, so we call this Fort Knox in the community. I have no idea why. Look like Macobra was going for a double door strat right there. Come on, fall. Ah, uh, he didn't fall. I really needed him to fall there. If he didn't fall, that would have been bad. Or if he did fall, that would have been pretty bad. I did not go for the double door strats, and I also did not fall. Thank God. So I'm going to have to haul some butt here. Come on. We can't hear the P-switch timer, but it's going. All right, I'm going to cover through the door. <laughs> so he is, what? Let's see. He enters the pipe at 118, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. He's 10 seconds, 11 seconds ahead of me. Wow, it doesn't look like 11 seconds, does it? It really doesn't look like 11 seconds, but all right. So that fortress got destroyed and it didn't break that lock. And we know what that means, right? Who knows? Oh, checking your inventory, bud. You're not gonna, you don't want to do that. We don't have any items. So I'm going to, sorry, my hat is acting really weird. There we go. Oh my gosh. I just took a shower. So my hat is messing everything up. Look, we're just gonna go for the no hair. Fuck yeah, let's go. My hair is acting weird from the shower. There we go. Now I'm now I'm comfy. All right, these twitch beanies. So I did not check for my item there. So that means I saved probably like a second. We both have our tail for this airship. That's not gonna help us at all. I mean, we can still do it pretty quickly. There's nothing worth it. Like if you don't go for P speed in this level, and you're small Mario, this level will take you quite some time. So it's either P speed. It's either P-Speed or just Flutter, so we're pretty good. So let's see, when the screen goes black. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I saved like point, point 0.5 or something by not looking at my inventory. Catching up! Catching up! That's right. Whee! All right, back, back up in their corner, Mitch. Back up in the corner where you belong. So you see two fortresses right off the bat, two locks. Dang, dude. Not so bad, Macobra getting the double music note bounce, which is really hard to do with the tail. All right, I'm taking the same path. Oh, I get it too, man, that's so scary. Oh, Macobra with the death. Not gonna cut it, man. Not gonna cut it. That is an, a very unfortunate death. This level is extremely awkward. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Wow. So that death cost them over 22 seconds. Ridiculous, man. That sucks. Luckily, having the tail here. Uh, just allows me to save even more time on top of him. Because now he's got to land in the water and, and jump out. He's got to watch out for these enemies. Oh, he got killed by an enemy underwater. 
Wow. Oh, he's going to a different level. Nice. This level's much better. Okay, so he's really not going to lose that much time. All right, now I'm in the World 2 Fortress. Nice. I decide to take the damage and go for P-Speed. This is Race 5. Okay. We are not going to bitch out on the Race 5. I don't think so. Okay. And the random hot feet, man. I hate it, dude. Oh my gosh. I should have just went for my P-Speed strats. But I think what I did was a good idea, mainly because I don't know if I'm behind or ahead right now. So, and plus we're early off in the race and I don't want to be small Mario because then I don't have any power-ups. I got no power-ups for safety. Big Mario feels very safe. If I get a clip level, I'm good to go. The only level that won't work is if I get the wall jump level. All right, so we broke the lock. We knew it was there. All right, last two levels. Check and see what items I got. And I have a Fire Flower and a Star. Now, I'm definitely going to want to save that Fire Flower uh, until Bowser is what I'm thinking. Unless I get a Hammer Suit. So, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Alright, so he's killing the Boom Boom. So, I'm a, a little bit over a level ahead right now. And I'm very nervous right here. So, I'm going to take... I'm going to do what you guys never see me do in the speedruns. That's right. Alright. He's going to do his backtrack level three. Yeah, so I'm like a little bit. Let's see. I'm about three quarters of a level ahead. Oh. So here's a good level for me to be able to um, get a leaf to get an item. It'd be really clutch. Come on, give us a leaf. We got it. Nice, dude. That makes me happy. Oh, that Koopa's in his way too. So he's gonna have to wait and nice drop on his oh it gave us a star what a ripoff oh my gosh fire bros got die look at that it took both my power-ups man that's so annoying that's okay he did that much faster so he definitely saved some time but he missed that mushroom man he needed that mushroom Needed that mushroom for safety. Only got a fire flower and a music box. But the good news is, is that we already know that if he gets this mushroom, he can get the leaf. So as long as he doesn't take damage, he should be on the same. He should be pretty much in the same boat as me. Should be pretty good. Nice. He's doing the swag strats. So I'm thinking one hit, please. Oh my gosh. And it was one hit. See, I don't remember exactly everything that happened. So I get to like kind of think as I'm playing as well. So I'm just explaining and like expressing what I would be thinking in that exact position because I don't remember the exact outcome. So lucky for me. Dude, he saves a bunch of time on me on this airship. Look at that. Holy crap. Look at that save, man. That is a big save. Oh, with a one hit. Ah, man, if he knew it was a one hit, he'd build P-Speed off screen one grab. That's another four seconds. Whoop. All right, so I got another Fire Flower there, so I know I can use the one that I have. All right, take the pipe. We have no hammers. So regardless, there's only one Fortress, and I know we have to do it because the lock is right in the way, so this is perfect. I hate the worlds where there's, like, locks and fortresses everywhere, and you got to do all these crazy gambles. I always mess up. I always mess up somewhere. Somewhere. He's gonna do the same thing and he's he should have the exact same items as well so yeah and uh nice he, he doesn't often to equip this fire flower so i am actually gonna save a little bit of time not only jumping in the pipe at the start because the tail is a little slow with the jumps but also with the kill here um okay so hammer brother so i go for a random hammer brother here i might as well right why not go for a random hammer brother i can't remember what item it gave me Oh, we got the cloud, dude. That's incredible. Holy crap. What a gamble. And I gotta, I gotta do the level anyways. So might as well. I'm doing like half P speed strats here. Oh my gosh. The bounces get the heck out of there, dude. This level's so scary. Rando. So many things can just pop out of nowhere. Okay. So the hammer brother moved the same place. I don't know what he's doing. He's going back. He's fighting the Hammer Brother too. Wow, dude. 
If he skipped that bro, holy crap. So he got the cloud as well. Lucky bug right there. Lucky bug. Oh, dude, the boss pass right there. I'm not going to opt for even doing anything. I'm just going to do the normal, normal strategy, which I'm very scared right now because that boss can really appear anywhere, man. And I killed him, so he respawned closer to me. So, yeah, he's... Oh, my gosh. Like, what is he doing? He's, like, floating there. Nice game. So, luckily, I respawned him at the bottom. So, this level's really giving me a run for my money. And Macobra has a leaf, so... He should be able to do this level a lot fat unless he dies right off. No, he doesn't. Oh, he does! You should have jumped on the brown block there and kind of, like, let him move. That's okay. That's... Ooh, he's up in a cloud. That's not a bad idea. And I got a coin ship in World 2. What? You're not supposed to be able to get a coin ship in World 2. So I don't know what the deal is with that. I don't know what the dealio is. All right. Here I go. Let the goo. This level's intimidating at first, but then it kind of... It's pretty easy as you go. So he's going to do the Hammer Brother. Uh, definitely save more time on me. But he's used this star. So what does this Hammer Brother give? <sighs> Music box. And look... You're not supposed to be able to turn a Hammer Brother in World 2 into coin ship. But then again, I think that only applies to Boomerang Bros. So, leads me to believe that it was an actual Hammer Brother battle. I think McCobra did an actual Hammer Brother, so that would be correct. Oh, he's doing the... Oh my gosh, he's doing amazing P-Speed strats right now. Oh, but I used my Cloud. Okay, so we both have used our Clouds. Wow, this is really close right now. Now, take your time, Mitch. Okay, it's not like he's right on your ass. Take your time, though. Yeah, keep messing up. Yep. <laughs> let's let's count from one grab. We'll see how far away we are. We're just about to finish World 3. Okay, so grab the wand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19 and a half, it looks like. I'm 19 and a half seconds ahead. You know what? Considering the fact that he's died twice, like, he's keeping his lead, man. He's keeping his lead right now. He's already died twice. I have not died yet. Ooh, world four. Could have been pretty good for a gamble. Whoa! Oh, dude, I I confused myself. I was like, it's right there. I might as well go for it. I have to backtrack anyways. So I'm definitely going to lose time there if Macobra just goes right away. Let's see what he does. He's He goes right. See, he saved time. Yeah, my decision making sometimes is not the best. When it comes to uh, rando. But sometimes I'm really good. Sometimes I just make the decisions. And then sometimes I get a little fluttered up. So let's see what this did. Oh, nice. Movement of four. Always a good time. Nice. And it did build the bridge. And guess what? The pipe is right here. And the Hammer Brother is out of my way. Weep, weep. Weep. We're out of there. Which means he's going to be out of there too. But he saved time because he didn't get a movement of four. So he actually saved time on me in, the, in this world. Right on. Oh, he gets to skip this hammer, brother. But is he going to fight it? And if he does, is it a cloud? Oh, he is going to fight it. Oh. No. He's waiting for it. There you go. Nice. That was nice and clean. Ah, oh, star. So I lucked out. Thank goodness. So he, that definitely cost him enough time to the point where he's close to 30 seconds behind now. The little pipe transitions and the Hammer Brother movement of four is not enough for him to get any kind of lead. So let's see here. So I'm not going to count the seconds. Okay, I got a Tanook. So double hammer here. Neither of us have any hammers, I don't think. Ooh, hand level. Hand three this is. I'll do my little turn back. I was a little scared there, okay? All right. Ooh. 
Ooh, we got a hammer. Only one hammer, Mitch. Luckily, this level's pretty fast. Nice, I made really good work. It's it's pretty tough to speed run this level rando. And uh, I don't know if he was checking. I think he might have was taking a look to see if he had any hammers or anything. Just double check. Because you never know at the end of the world. You might miss the item. You might miss it. Ooh, I almost got runaway there. But I mean, I'm not too concerned about runaway, bro. All right, McCobra getting that hammer looking pretty. Double boss bass, excuse me? What is this? Yeah, 4-2 randomizer is pretty much... You pretend like you made a mistake at the beginning of the level and you can't get P-Speed. And then you just do the backup strat. That's essentially the best way to explain it. Okay, so we got a lock there in the fortress up top. So I know that I can actually go back and check the other pipes first. Take a look. Okay, so where does this one take me? Right there. So I'm going to fight the Hammer Brother, because you might as well. Uh, when you have Fire Flower, I think it's really good ideas. That's a great time. Oh, the Hammer, dude. You hate to see it, man. Two Hammers in World 3. The Double Hammer would have been great, because I'm going to... Where am I going, is the question. Ah, yes. Okay, so I need to do that. Okay. I confused myself. All right, th so this level is interesting because a lot of people like to go for the item, and I do too, but it never works in my favor, so I never want to go for the item. Okay, Macobra doing the exact same things as me right now. He's very close behind me. He's going to go back up, and he's going to do the same thing because he knows the other pipe, and you have to go that way anyway, so you might as well clear the path. Macobra is not taking the same kind of gamble he we have seen him do in other World 3s, like by randomly doing that fortress. Um, so he's right on par with me, essentially. Ooh, getting the wall jump is big Mario. You don't see that very often. Right on. Okay, so that fortress broke that lock. Oh, but you see another lock there. So, um, technically, we didn't have to do any fortress in this world. But you would have needed, like, a cloud or something. Which, I mean, I don't have one. And I don't think Macobra has one either. Alright. Nice. Making work. We're both killing it right now. I Get out of here, Wendy. What? I went right through Wendy, and then I got stunned, and then I got stuck, and I died. Awesome, man. You guys want to, you got, here, let me rewind it a little bit, and let me, let me show you what happened there. All right, let's take a look one more time. Watch very closely. You know what? Playback speed, 0.5. Stomp on Wendy. Yeah. Let's go stomp on Wendy again. What? X, what? Right through her. Stomped her again. Got stunned. Can't move. Tried to jump out of the way. Perfect timing to let me go. Got hit again one more time. Jumped. And I got... Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable, dude. My timer stopped there because I gonged the desk. <sighs> well. Lost my entire lead. There it is. Lost the entire lead, guys. All right. Just got interesting, I guess. I'm still pretty salty about that. What a jerk she is. Could have said more things. Get out of here, Wendy. All right. Well, since we both finished on the auto scroller, we can do the little fast forward here. Nice. World six. 
Gonna go, I'm gonna go straight for the fortress though, because it's right there. Ooh, Macobra's gonna go not for the fortress. This could be interesting. He's got the hammer. So I'm, I'm potentially making a pretty bad decision here. Doesn't look like a good idea considering the pipe. He just, he just skipped like a billion levels, right? You know, I'm making my ancestors not proud with what I, my decisions and my death right now. Oh, but he's got it. Ooh, dude. He's got to take Rainbow Ride here. Let's go. I can, hopefully I can save some time there. I can't remember if I nailed the, tr the trick with the tail. The tail is a very good strat. All right, let's go. Rainbow Ride it up. Oh, don't. Okay. All right, now that I didn't take damage, I know I'm pretty safe, and I'll be able to nail the strat. Let's go! What did uh, Macobra get? He got a uh, music- or he got a star, okay. All right, so he went into 7-2 here. I'm just finishing up. Ooh, I went down, so what level did I get? Oh, this level's way better than 7-2. But I don't get P-Speed at the start in case the boss Bass is there. But I do a cool trick right here. Where I go up into the clouds. So I don't deal with garbage. And then, yep. And then I'm home free. I'm a little flustered right now. I'm not doing very hot. Because I did that fortress and I died. I'm, I'm behind a lot right now. It happens, man. It's the finals. You're not going to be able to play your best. Alright, so I take the last pipe. Where does it lead me? Right to the end. Look at that. Boom. So I'm actually ahead now by not fighting the Hammer Brothers here, actually. By not fighting the Hammer Brothers, uh, saved a good of time. He only got a star and a P-Wing. Oh! Fortress required. Let's go, dude. Got my lead back, baby. So, those bad decisions are suddenly not so bad anymore. Holy crap! Those dodges! Hold on, guys. We gotta see that again. We gotta see that again. Look at those. Look at these ball dodges. I'm good at dodging balls, guys. I'm good at dodging balls. Look at these ball dodges right now. Look at this. Right in between. Oh my gosh! Dude, incredible. Oh man, Macobra had to do like. Macobra has to do like six extra screen transitions and two extra, four, four extra pipe transitions. That's over a minute lost instead of just doing the fortress right away. But you can't, you can't know that, you know, it happens. It happens. Get my sodi pop. I'm just excited, guys. I like hanging out with YouTube. This isn't live on my Twitch. This is the... This is sit at home and hang out with the YouTubes. All right, I love seeing world world fives like this, uh, mainly because it's just level level then pipe transition. Ooh, the tail helped me out here. Right on. God, I hate this level. All right, so he's using a P wing. So he's gonna get through it pretty cleanly with the P wing. Yeah. Not a good P wing level, but having my tail here. Ooh, I get to destroy this auto scroller. Look at that right in there as long as macobra doesn't take damage he'll, he should be able to do the same thing oh bad 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 the baddies all right so i don't i should have taken damage there and just gotten crazy p speed i don't even take damage there i think i'm doing really bad right now because i died oh my god three hammers we don't even need them game Come on. All right, so this pipe should take me right somewhere in the clouds, and I don't think I have to come back down there. There's, there's no reason. Holy, what is this? So there's three fortresses, so I know that this blue fort will break one of the blue locks. It has to. There's not normally three forts in World 5, and because there is right now, then that, by default, one of the blue locks has to uh, be unlocked by the blue fort, because... There's one lock and one fort that's not supposed to be there, and they're connected. At least that's how I look at it as. Hasn't failed me since. 
All right, Macobra is going to have to do this level much slower than me because he doesn't have his tail. If you look on Macobra's screen, oh my gosh, what a great time to look. Thank you, opponent, for that awesome death. Really helped me out there. Right on, give me that juicy lead. Even more of a lead. All right, he's picking his items. Uh, right on. So I did the bottom fortress and it unlocked the path that... I did the first right fortress. I had to do that one. Uh, because if you went around, you would have been blocked again. So it wouldn't have worked. And then I did the right fortress. So it was just pretty vanilla stuff. I tried to test out the anchor there to see if it gave me a cloud. Unfortunately, it did not. Do I got fire flower there? Do I go for fast peace speed? I do not. I'm thinking, oh, I'm like, can you just die, please? Okay. Oh my gosh, it came back. I'm so annoyed. Just go away, dude. So what I try, I tried to get peace speed there, but it wasn't happening, dude. And then I'm trying to just get it. <laughs> I was going to do the clips, but I was, what is everything doing? Dude, I spent like 10 minutes in this level. Guys, don't judge me, okay? I, I don't think I did a very good job in this level. Oh, so Macobra. You see what Macobra's doing? Um, if Here, let me rewind it just a little bit so you can get a quick look as I explain it. He's on the overworld map right now. And he wants to do the first closest fortress to him because if it breaks that bottom left lock, he only has to do one fortress where I've done two. Um... But we already know, we already know that that fortress doesn't do anything. That fortress builds the bridge in the bottom second, and that's what it does. And uh, the only reason we know that is because we just saw me do it. So uh, we actually know that this is putting my opponent even further behind. Even further, unfortunately. He does not know that, though, and it's, you hate to see it. I'd like to go for the P-Speed strats in this level, but it's not working. Um, you guys have seen me lose races single-handedly to World 8, so I'm not... Don't get comfortable. <laughs> don't get comfortable, because this game... Randomizer hates me when it comes to World 8. I'm so bad at World 8 for some reason. But, like, I'm not. I'm good. It's, it makes no sense. <laughs> so he knows that that fortress breaks the lock, and he goes for the blue fortress... He's doing a gamble here. He wants the blue fortress to break the only blue lock that he wants. Uh, but we already know that this one breaks the lock in front of us. The one that he doesn't need broken. So he's wasting a fortress again. So he could have done the, the brown fortress and then the first fortress he did. So the top one, the two brown ones, and he could have been good. But nope. Unfortunately not. So we had to do three fortresses where I only had to do two. Ooh, but he's got a tail for this level. I think I did as well. So. All right, we're out of world seven. Time to go to world eight. I hate world eight so much. World eight hates me. But I love vanilla world eight. World eight's one of my favorite worlds in this game. I love world eight. Nice, going for the P-Speed strats. But I get scared and wimp out. Yep, I definitely wimped out on those P-Speed strats. My bad, guys. Barely any clouds in this seed. So I'm definitely almost four levels ahead of Macobra. Especially if he does this level... No, I was going to say, if he does this level better than me, he can save, like, almost a minute. And he's already doing better, because I don't know what the heck I was doing on the other side. All right. Grabbed it. All right, World 8. I think World 8 is the most exciting part about Randomizer, especially for you guys and the, the viewers on Twitch. Uh, because it's just so exciting what combinations and what happens, right? Like, so, Macobra's three levels behind. I could go in and do the four fortresses and then find Bowser's path, where Macobra could go in and do one fortress and find the path right away. Pretty big time save. But, you'd have to take a pretty big gamble, and it looks like... There's a fortress right... You love to see it, dude. You love to see the fortress right off the bat. The fortress right off the bat is so good. 
Because you know at least one of the locks is broken. Um, but then again, also, my opponent uh, can do a crazy path divergence here. Like, if he, if we both do this... Nice. Nice work of that. Cobra's almost out. I think he's got one more level left in the world. Yeah. Dude. That... The triple fortress with the deaths he had. I haven't died yet, so... And I haven't done an extra fortress, I don't think. I'm gonna check this fortress. And it's a level... Dude, of course it's the longest level, right? Like... Gonna try and die here. Yeah, I've gotta sit here like a butt. Oh, I jumped to die. Oh my gosh. So that's good. Information, right? That's what it was for. Information. Yep, I, I do my equips, and then I'm gonna take a risk here and check this pipe. Just for shits and gigs. Alright, looking around. Pipe here. So see how he's catching up? Like, he can just come in, go into the pipe, right? Alright, checking this pipe. Where does it take me? Over here, we got a level. Oh my gosh. See, now I gotta backtrack all the way back. The Cobra's finishing. I'm really not far ahead. So I'm gonna go back into the other pipe. So I'm back in the main screen again! Oh my gosh, dude. Macobra with that jumpy guy. He almost lost it there. Alright, so I find this path. There's a lock in my way. No, oh, I gotta go all the way back, dude. So I just spent like a minute. Just what you guys think. You know how the race has turned out. All right, we'll take this pipe, I guess. Holy kablingi. All right, Hambridge. There we go. There's our fortress. So I'm like one level ahead now. This is ridiculous. World 8 is the worst. All right, grab Fire Flower. Ooh, that jump is so hard. You remember that jump as a kid in this fortress? It used to be so difficult. For those of you who can remember. So all Macobra has to do is do this fortress and go to the pipe and up, and he's pretty much caught up to me. Especially if I don't have to do this fortress right here. Then he's caught up right away. <gasps> Boom! Let's go! Woo! Let's go! Right on, there we go. We just found Bowser's path. I'm super excited. I don't know if I'm in the lead or not, though, but we do. Am I gonna fuck it up? Here's the question. Am I Mitch Choke Power? So he's gonna check for this, and this that is that's a wise thing to do. Alright. I don't have a hammer suit. Can we Mitch Choke Power? Dun, 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 dun. I didn't get the clip. Ooh. Takes the same pipe as me, getting screwed over. So he's going to take the other pipe. While I'm da dancing around on the stairs, not really doing much of anything. So he's going to check that pipe. Oh, I get the clip first try. Now, am I going to do this or am I going to suck? Yeah, Macobra taking the same paths as me. It stopped at a level. He's like, I'm out of here. Come on, Bowser. Mash, quick, faster, let's go. Oh, I almost got shot, and I did it. Right on. Wee! And then now, Mac look at how fast Macobra caught up. Right, if he goes straight for the pipe, look at that. See what I mean? World 8. Look at how close he is. Boom. Wow, I did it, dude. I won, though. All right, well, being as this isn't live, there is no reason to actually completely finish the whole random randomizer. I don't want to take much of your time. You guys waited a long time, and dude, I'm so glad that we watched this, and I'm so glad um, we got a chance to do the randomizer, and I really hope you guys enjoyed the randomizer tournament more than anything. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So, yes, I am the winner. I officially won nothing but bragging rights. Let's go. Yeah, so thank you very much, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and like, but mainly subscribe. We are definitely going for that YouTube plaque. 100,000 subscribers. I'm going to work for the next friggin' 10 years to try and get that bad boy. But we can reduce those years if we can get those subs. Let's go. Also, don't forget, in the description, I have a link to buying 
my MFP shirts, if you guys are interested. They're really cool, little stencil art kind of shirt. But uh, yeah, aside from that, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I'll catch you later. Woo! See you later, guys.